this is more design exercise so before you start uh, do this exercise make sure you copy this star ctf file into your working folder you can right click and then select save target as and then save it into your working folder okay for example i uh, my docu my working folder is under simatron documents so i named this exercise as xmo design okay double click it and then the file name is um, start ctf file okay after that we select save now we need what we need to do is unpack it so select the file select unpack okay and then make sure it's um, this file is selected from your working folder open and then uh, we need to unpack it make sure it is selected and then select unpack after that the destination path here is means where you want to save your uh, unpack file so uh, I select computer and then Simatron documents my working folder And then um, the use folder path here, we need to change it to without folder history. This is very important. Okay, make sure it's uh, select the without folder history. Okay, after that, uh, we select OK. OK again. Now we can close the uh, zip file. Now we can start do our exercise. So what we need to do is select the most set up wizard for every mode design. Okay, the assembly name is um X design. Okay, and here we can select the place we need to uh, put the file so we put it into the working folder and then select OK and we need to create a new folder click here make sure it's a uh, pick okay and then this is the folder name Xmo design MD Okay, the layout part we need to select is um, this one. The layout to cuff circle mm. After that, we click select, and then we can click OK. Okay, this is the first step of the uh, this exercise. In step two, we need to load the work parts. So before we um, load the work parts, I need to introduce to you. And um, this is the menu bar. Okay, and this is um, icon two bar here. Okay. And then here is the feature tree. This is the display area. And the right hand side here is the um, mode design guide. Okay. Okay. Before that, uh, before we start uh, load the work parts, I need to teach you how to use the control key and the mouse to rotate, pan, and zoom. Um, beside using this zoom pan and the rotate icon so we need what we need to do is press the control button key on the keyboard and then we uh, click 
click the left uh, button of the mouse to rotate okay and then we need to press the control button on the keyboard and then press the middle mouse button to pan it okay like this okay and then we also need to uh, press the control button key on the keyboard and then we right click the mouse so we can zoom in and zoom out okay okay now after I teach you uh, all these simple uh, things now we need to load the work parts so we select here the load work parts okay and then we uh, need to open the file this is import the file so uh, this that file not the not the IGS file so we need to open it select it from the uh, working folder select the part okay click select after that um, the file name is part work okay and then we just select okay and then um we need to put the work part so we select this UCS and this UCS after that we can click OK or you can just uh, right click and then the cursor will come into the OK here so we just uh, left click and select it this will more easier this is step 2 now we need to update the layout dimension or we can say that we need to edit the layout dimension um, so we need to zoom out first to see all um, see the layout so we press the control button on the keyboard and then uh, right click the mouse so we can zoom out okay after that uh, we need to what we need to do is double click the layout okay um, after we double click the dimension will come out and then we just click here where we need to um, change the dimension so this dimension will change to 220 okay after that here is 60 here is 80 and this one is 60 and this is 180 okay after after we um set the dimension we click update so the dimension is become oh, sorry the layout become smaller after that we need to exit it so we press the middle mouse button to exit now we will edit the work UCS. The first thing we need to do is activate the part work. So you you have two ways to activate it. First you can right click and then select activate component or just uh, double click here and activate it. Okay. You can see the uh, the distance between these two UCS is incorrect so we need to edit it the first uh, we, before we edit it we need to measure the UCS
okay uh, we, we select the we click the top UCS first and then we move the mouse to the bottom UCS the distance between these two we look at the delta y is 1.868 mm and then uh, if your uh, distance is different it, you must uh, follow your distance yeah okay now we rotate it and select this surface this flat surface okay you can see the delta z is negative 7.027 mm okay remember these two uh, value okay now we can uh, close the measurement and then we select to top view okay after that um, we need to edit the work UCS so we just right click here and then select edit feature after that we go to the second optional delta from peak point okay just now uh, we measure the delta y is 1.868 okay and the delta z is negative sorry is negative 7.027 and then we can right click and then select OK or you can just select here the OK for easier we just right click and then select OK now this is the layout so we need to hide it so we click the, uh, this bar to hide and then if we, you want to show it just click here Okay, it will show and then we also need to uh, hide the datums so we can press the middle mouse button and uh, right click okay uh, together click both together and then select datums it will hide if you if you want to show it just Double, uh, click the middle mouse button and the uh, right click of the mouse and then select that term uh, of course uh, now we need to hide it so we need to uh, make sure the dentums here is unpicked okay this is step 4